Hello everyone. I am back with a preliminary result for my experiment. After heating the hydrothermal reaction vessel for four hours and then allowing it to cool, when I took it apart what I found was this bluish gray goop. This was the Montmerlinite clay mixed with zinc powder and salts of zinc. The Montmerlinite clay absorbs a lot of water and it forms a goopy substance. Anyway, I put this in a test tube I let the liquid portion separate from the sediment and then I poured off the liquid portion. I then neutralized all of the acid using sodium bicarbonate. Then I added 20 drops of a reagent called Sudan 3. Sudan 3 is a red dye which selectively binds to fats and is used to test for any kind of fats in a mixture. So let me explain what you're looking at. The test tube on the right is the control. I mixed a small amount of fatty acids, which I had previously made, with distilled water and then added 20 drops of Sudan 3 reagent. As you can see, there are two layers. The top layer, being bright reddish orange, is an indication of the fatty acids in solution, which always rise to the top. This is what a positive test for fatty acid looks like. The test tube on the left is my sample that I collected from the hydrothermal reactor. It is very hard to see in this video, but there is a very thin layer of liquid which has a different color than the rest of the liquid in the sample. Although it is possible that this is simply the meniscus of the liquid, I really don't think that's the case. I studied it and it is definitely a different color than the rest of the liquid. And if you hold it up close to a light, with the light shining down on the test tube, you can see that this layer has a slight reddish color, which isn't really that visible here. But before I say conclusively what the top layer is, I'm going to put a sample from the two test tubes under the microscope. Hopefully, if there are fatty acids in my sample solution, they should show up as reddish vesicles, much like the vesicles that we saw earlier in videos on this channel. So stay tuned for those results. And I just want to thank everyone for watching and stay tuned.